Can you hear me? Good day, everyone. Yes. Uh, good, All morning. Right. good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I know for some, some is good. Good morning. Some is good evening. So good. <laughs> good day, everyone. Okay. So we're going to be starting with operations and integer. All right. Um, the last class we did. I don't know if anyone here that was in the last class. We worked on uh, operations uh, with integer, just um, your addition and subtraction. Okay, if you don't um, still, I can't go back here, but I can share a video with you to explain this on addition and subtraction. So we're going to be looking at algebra, everything in algebra. And the beginning of algebra is you understanding your signs, your operations of your negative, your positive numbers, okay? When you have something like, like this, a positive three, negative in parentheses, negative eight, what is the answer? When you have something like this, negative 11, negative 19, what is the answer? So I have done that, I've shared the rules in the last class. So I'm just gonna share the video with you. For this class, we're gonna be looking at operations with integers involving division and multiplication. So what are the rules involved? So that's what we are looking at today. Okay, I hope we're okay. Can I go forward? Yes. All right. Okay. So here, so when you, for division and multiplication, the rule is when you have negative times or divided by so you can see if it's either times or divided by a positive you're going to have a negative okay when you have a positive times or divided by a negative you're still going to have a negative okay the sign it will take it will take the what negative sign meaning when you have a number let's say a negative three times a positive maybe eight your after multiplying the numbers three times eight is 24 then the signs to multiply to know what the final sign will be is negative times positive which will give you what negative okay so the same with positive and negative so when you have opposite signs your answer the final sign will be what a negative. Now, when you have the same sign, for example, a negative times or divided by negative, you're going to have a positive. And when you have a positive times or divided by a positive, you would have a positive. Do you see that? Are we following? Yes, but I'm still not at the same way. Come again? I'm saying yes, I'm listening, but I'm still not at the same way. Okay. Let me go back again. Thank you. Now, the rules. Let me just, okay, let me not confuse you. Let me start with multiplication. We have sign rules. All right. So I said I've done addition and subtraction earlier on. So now I'm going to be treating multiplication and division for today's class. All right. So, uh, or wait, let me just, let me check first. How many of us were not in the first class? I was not. Any other person? No. You were not in the first class, okay? Uh, someone raised your you raised your hand. You can speak. I was not. Okay. All right. Okay, no problem. I would go back to. Thank you very I will, much. I will go back to this. Okay. Thank you. All right. So from the beginning, when we have operations with integers involving addition and subtraction. There are certain rules that we follow, okay? So 
the addition and subtraction rule is when you have a positive number, all right, you have a positive number and a negative number. I'm just going to do it this way. A positive number and hold, hold on. Let me not confuse you. When you have... When you have a positive number and a negative number, okay, coming together, all right, what do you do? You are going to do what? Subtraction. So you will subtract. And after subtracting, the sign of the bigger number is what will now be the sign of our answer. So our answer takes the sign of the bigger number. So you just write answer takes sign of bigger number. Okay? Now, it's also the same when is a negative and a positive. The same thing happens. Okay? You perform what? Subtraction. Are you with me? Yes, teacher. Now, when you now have the same signs, negative and negative sign numbers, positive and positive sign numbers, you are going to perform addition. You would perform addition. And the answer will take the sign of the bigger number, the same thing. Okay? So an example is this. You have 12 minus 17. Now, in maths, when you see a number stand alone, when you don't see a sign in front of it, it means that this number is a positive number. Are you with me? Yes. And in maths, the, a number carries the sign in front of it, not the sign after it. The sign in front of it. Are you with me? So 17 here, the sign of 17 is negative. Why the sign of 12 is positive? The sign of 12 is never tw is never negative. Are you with me? So in maths, note this, in maths, the sign of a number is always a sign in front of it, before it, not after it. And when you don't see a sign in front of a number, it means that that number is a positive number. Okay? So 18 here is positive. Are you with me? Hello? Yes, yeah. we are. Okay. So now, when you now have here, so here, this is positive 12. <clears throat> negative 17 positive 12 negative 17 so what do you do when you have a positive and a negative the rule subtract. says you subtract so you take away 12 from 17 it gives us what five now what sign you know these two numbers have two different signs what sign would the answer take it will always take the sign of the bigger number the bigger number here is 17. So the sign of five minus. 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 Yes. That's a negative. Are we following? Yes. Okay. Now, look at the second one. It says positive 18, negative 27. What do we do? What operation do we perform when we have a positive and negative? We subtract. The same thing. Good. So we subtract. When we subtract 18 from 27, what's that going to give us? Nine. Good, nine. And what would nine, what would the sign be? What would the sign of nine be? Minus. Minus? Minus, yes. Because minus. It's the, it's the, big, the bigger number is, is negative, it's a minus. All right, so our answer will be minus nine. Now, look at this. Negative 11, negative 19. What do we do when we have the same sign, negative and negative? We do what? Um, 
add add we do addition when we have negative and negative this is the rules look at the rules here all right we do addition when we have what's negative and negative so we add these two numbers so that will be 30 and what sign would 30 take plus minus minus plus. not plus minus yeah, because 19 is, minus. 19 is negative so it's gonna take a negative are you with me yeah, yeah. so yeah. this is the major problem for the gd math in algebra you know algebra has about 50 percent questions if you don't get this it will affect when you now start dealing with simplification of you know two x plus this negative this if you don't understand this basic foundation, it would affect, don't worry, you see, as we go on, that we always have to continuously apply these rules. So you must make it stick to you, okay? And I'm gonna give you a lot of practice for you to practice and practice and practice so you get used to it, all right? Because almost everything in algebra, you must always apply these rules. Now, going to number four. Number four says negative 13, negative 21. What do we do since they are the same sign, negative and negative? We do what? Add. Add. Addition. So we have, Add. Good. So we have four, we have three. And what would the sign be? My name's again. Minus, <laughs> minus again. Okay, good job. So I want us to take, take out two, three minutes. Everyone do this and type in the chat box your answers. Okay. Which one? Number five to eight. Do number five to eight. Work on number five to eight now, everyone.
Okay. I see your answers. Negative 63, negative 1, negative 37. Okay, negative 74. Good. All right. Okay. So let's let's try, let's do them together now. All right. So this says, can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this says uh, positive 92, negative 155. So we do subtraction, we get 63, and the sign will be what? Negative. Okay. So we have negative and positive here. We also do subtraction. We subtract 32 from 31. It gives us 1. And what's the bigger number? Biggest number is 32, and it has a negative. So this would be a minus. So here we have a negative 64 and a positive 27. So what do we do? We do subtraction. So we take away, gives us 37, and we take the sign of the bigger number, which is what negative. Are you with me? And here we have here we have negative 219 and positive this. So we also do subtraction. We have 74. And the answer would take a negative. Okay, great job, everyone. Great job. All right. <clears throat> now, in cases now, you start seeing parentheses just like this. Parentheses in front of a of a sign. What do you do? Now they have involved multiplication, so you need to know that negative times the rule is negative times a positive is negative. Also, positive times a negative is what also equal to a negative. Okay, and a negative times a negative is what. A positive and a positive times a positive is also a positive do we see that do we see that yes i do okay are we all following yes okay so here we have this first parenthesis there's like an still like an invisible positive here. Okay. The water. All right. So it's, there's like an invisible positive in front of this. So when you do, you have to open up the parentheses, all right? And in opening up a parenthesis, you apply multiplication. Are you with me? So yes. a positive times positive will give us what? A positive. So this will be a positive four, all right? That's we've knocked out the, the, the parentheses. Now here, in front of this parentheses, this negative seven in parentheses, there is a positive. A positive times this negative inside will give us what? Positive times negative is a negative, so it will give us a negative seven. Do you see that? Yes, we do. Okay, yes. so from here now, you can now simplify further. That's when you have a positive and a negative number, what do we do? We do subtraction. So we have three and the sign, we take the sign of the bigger number, which is what? Negative. Minus. Yes, minus. minus three. Yes. Do you see that? Yes. You yeah. see now that it's like two steps. First of all, you have to open up the parentheses then you now go back to addition and subtraction rule, okay? So for this second one, this is a positive in front of here, a positive times this negative inside this parenthesis will give us a negative two, then a positive times this negative six 
will give us a negative six. And when you have a negative and negative, what do you do? Addition. 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 Yeah. So we have two plus uh, plus eight. That gives us a uh, six. That gives us eight. And what would the sign be? Minus. Minus. Yes, minus. So our answer will be minus. Now look at this. Here, there's no parenthesis in this 20. So this is a positive 20. So we have positive 20. Here, there's a parenthesis here. So it means we have to open up. So we do this positive times this negative. That gives us what? A negative, right? OK, so we have a negative 20. So when we have positive 20, negative 20, we do what? Subtraction, right? Yeah. But yes yeah and when we subtract 20 minus 20 gives us what zero, zero. zero. so our answer zero. is what zero we don't need to put any sign in front of zero zero is zero <clears throat> zero is a neutral number it doesn't take any sign okay? okay so look at this so this there's a positive here positive times this gives us negative nine and positive times this negative gives us what negative nine and a negative nine negative nine what does that give us what do we do no 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 we have a negative <laughs> nine negative nine what do we do addition or subtraction uh, addition. addition yes addition be 18 minus 18. so that's 18 and the sign will be a negative minus. do you see that minus 18. Minus 18. Are you with yes. me? Yes. yes. So look at this one. It says, so this is a negative 18. Positive times this negative gives us what? A negative three. What do we do when we have negative and negative? What do we do? Addition. 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 Good. So we add, we'll get 21, and the sign would be minus, minus 21. Now, look at this. So this is, there's a positive here. So this positive will open up this. So we have a positive 3. Then what is negative times negative? Positive. Huh? Addition. Addition negative times negative is what positive okay so as we open up this parenthesis it becomes positive eight do you see that yes so when we have a positive three positive eight what do we do we do addition right we add the two numbers and we have a positive 11. and we have a positive 11. Now, oh, is not my name's 11? No, no, look, we have this is positive and positive. What is the bigger number? The bigger Eight. number takes the positive, so it will be positive. Welcome. Do you see that? Are you on number one on the other side? Positive three minus eight. Is this this is what I'm doing? Okay, are you with me? Yeah. Look at this. It says here, positive in parentheses, positive three, minus in parentheses, negative eight. This positive times this positive from here, from our rule. Look at our rules here. When we have positive times positive, we have a positive. So that's positive three. And when we have negative times negative, look at a negative times negative, we should also have a positive. So that'll be a positive eight. Oh. Then when you now have a positive and positive, you go to the addition and subtraction rule. We do what? Addition. A positive and positive, we do addition. So it gives us 11. And the sign will take the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number here is positive. So this will be a positive 11. Do you see that? Yes. OK. Now, look at this. So this is. Uh, there's an invisible positive here. So positive times this negative 
gives us negative 3. Then negative times this negative gives us a positive 8. Do you see that? So when you have a negative 3 and a positive 8, what do you perform? Which operation do you perform? Subtraction. Good. Subtraction. All right. So we take away 3 from 8. It gives us 5. And what sign will 5 take? Minus. Positive. No. Positive. Yes. It will take positive because the biggest number is positive. Are you with me? Don't confuse it. Yeah. All right. There are two, there are two things yeah. we're looking at. We first ask ourselves, which operation do we perform? We know from our rule that when you have a negative and positive, you do subtraction. So we subtract first. Then we ask, which of the two numbers is the biggest? Oh, is eight. What is the sign of eight? Positive. Our answer will take that positive. Do you get? Yeah. Yes. I want us to work on number three now to eight. Everyone, in the next five minutes, number three to eight. And that's gonna be eighteen. Was this eighteen? It's gonna be zero. So that's it. Thank 
Oh wow, no one has given me any answers yet. Is it difficult? No. I think um, um I use my I use I use my phone. I don't have access to chat. Uh, why don't you have a pen and paper? Just uh, type, type it, you know, solve and type. Let me see your answers in the chat box. And I'm, I'm on my car right now. It's so difficult for me. Okay, okay no problem. But others that yeah. uh, are working on it, let me see your answers in the chat box. So number three, is, I think is um, positive 18. Okay, let's just wait for others to drop their answers. I'll give you one minute more, everyone. Okay, so from here, all right, let's do it together. Let me see. Number three, what, let me hear. Um, Kelsey said she got 18. Which other person? Any other answers for number three? Any other answers for number three? 18. 18. Any other person? Any other person? 18. 18. Okay. So here we have a positive here. A positive times this positive will be a positive nine. And this negative times this negative will be a positive. So that's a positive nine. So when you have a positive and positive, you do addition. It gives us 18. And the sign will be positive. Okay. Great job, everyone. What about here? What's the answer for this? Um, is a positive eight okay? Someone got positive eight. Which other person? Yeah, for zero. Come again, positive eight. You got positive eight, okay? Which other person? I got Which zero. other answer? You got zero, okay? Let's look at it together. So, here, this is. This is a positive. A positive times a negative is what? A negative 4. And a negative times negative, remember, a negative 9 times negative is a positive 4. Do you see that? So when you have negative and positive, what do you do? You perform subtraction, right? 4 minus 4 will give us what? A 0. Do you see that, everyone?
Yeah, I can they say it first, but I was confused. <laughs> Just follow the rules. Follow the rules. That see, math is all about following the rules. Don't be scared of your answer. Don't feel your answer is off. As far as you you know the rules well, and you know that you are you're sure you're following it, do it that way, and you will get your answer. Okay. All right. Number five. What do we have? Positive 15. Positive 50. Which other one? Yeah. Any other answer? No. Okay. So this is a negative 30. And negative times negative, remember, is positive. So that's positive 80. And when you have a negative and positive, what do you do? You subtract. It gives you 50. And 50 will take the sign of the bigger number, which is what? Positive. Good job, everyone. What's the answer to this, number six? I don't know. I got two. Ah? Huh? Two. Two, okay. Is it positive two? You got positive two? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Just positive two. No problem. Any other answer? 150. Yes, I got 150. 150. Yeah, great. Yes. Okay. So. So you can see how tricky this 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 math is, <laughs> and you you might be wondering why have you been scoring one forty three one forty four? It's just this. It's just this little mistake in your algebra, and and this and the funniest part is, the examiners know that students are weak with these rules. So, you see that positive two, it would be your option. Because they know that you are bound to make that mistake. Are you with me? That positive two, that positive two would be in the option and you just quickly take it. Okay? So we have to really, really know this well. All right? So here, this is a positive. Remember, as I, I told you, when you have a number standing alone, the, when there's no sign in front of it, it means this is a positive number. So this would be a positive 76. Now, this parenthesis, we have a negative in front of it. So it means we have to multiply the sign so we can, you know, it cancels out this parenthesis. So this negative times negative gives us what? A positive 74. And when you have positive and positive, what do you do? You do addition. So that gives us 150. And it's a positive 150. Do you see that? Yes. Good. <laughs> Now, number seven, what are our answers for number seven? Positive 11. Okay, yeah, positive 11. 11. Which other positive person? 11. Every, no. Is everybody positive 11? Anyone have another answer? Has another answer? No. Okay, no. good job, everyone. So here is negative times negative. That's a positive eight. And negative times this negative, that's a positive three. And when you have positive and positive, you do addition. It gives us 11, and it will take the positive sign. All right? What's the answer to this, everyone, the final one? 16, 11. 11. 11. I think it's the same thing. I put 11. I really don't have no my name's on the phone. It's still... Okay, 11. Which other person? Any other answer? No. Okay. So here, this is a positive 8. And negative times negative is a positive. So we have positive 3. So positive 8, positive 3, what do we do? We do addition. So that's plus, that's 11. And it should take the sign of the bigger number. So that's positive 11. Are you with me? Cap. Okay, I'm going to clear off all these signs, the rules I've written down, and I'm going to take you here with some more questions that you're going to do. Um, which should I give to you now? Uh, let me give this to you to do. I want everyone now to work on this. From A, B, 
you can take it this way don't do this don't do this let's quickly all work on this okay let's stop here let's stop here all right don't do this i think i've given you this already you don't need to do that uh okay i gave you this i gave you okay leave these parts so let's do here from g h m n let's work on this do we see that oh g h yeah work on no. in, the, in the square We start and um, you're working on this H G H I J K L M N. You stop here, okay?
Okay. Are we done? I haven't seen any answers yet. Huh? Are we done? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's quickly do that together. All right, I will send you the rest as homework. And I want us to get, um, you know, worksheets on this. Anyway, I will just, I will send you a lot on the group. Okay? You will send it by WhatsApp or? Yeah, by WhatsApp or, um, or if you're on Telegram, I will send it there. All right? WhatsApp. Yeah. I will send it in both groups, WhatsApp, Telegram. Okay? So here. Yeah, okay. What is our answer here? Everyone, what's your answer here? Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't do anything because I will not know which one. I said we should do G, G to N. That's what I said. But even if, can you see your screen? What is the answer to this? You should do this within few seconds. What's the which answer? One? Can't you see your screen? Yes, I can see my screen, but I got about three pages. Like, I'm not even know which one is it. I, I got one start with A to P. I am writing um, on the screen right now. Can't you see that what I'm writing? Oh, no. no. Something on my phone. I didn't see nothing. Okay, is no one seeing it? No. No. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me uh, stop sharing and share back. Oh, you've not been seeing what I've been writing on my screen. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, have you guys not been seeing what I've been writing on the screen? Have you been seeing have you been seeing all this? No, I've seen Huh? No. I think maybe no, my yeah. phone because I'm not my computer today, so Okay. Has anyone been seeing what I've been writing on my screen? No, on your no. screen, anything I see on the screen right now is a GG mat operation like with the desktop. Okay, okay, I hear. But any other person? But can you see me writing something now on my screen? Yes, wait. Yeah, now. Right. Oh, oh wow. Maybe it's because of the setting I put. Oh, I apologize. All right. So please, what is G? Okay. Um, my name's six. That's seven. seven. Um, yeah. Um, what is the seven? Seven. Good. Yeah. All right. What is I? Minus one. That's going to be my... No. Negative one. No. Negative one. Great job. Fast. Oh, Fast fingers. Yes. It's negative oh. one. Because negative times this negative gives you positive. Okay. Six. Positive, so yeah. You have negative seven oh, positive yeah, six yeah. and gives you negative one. What about this? Thirty. Thirty. 30. Positive 30. Good job. What about this? Minus 15. Good job. What about this? Are we following? Yeah. Do we all agree to this? This times this yeah. is positive. So negative 41, positive 26 will subtract, and the sign will take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. Okay? Yeah. One. What about this? One. Positive one. Positive one. Okay. What is that minus? Negative times negative is positive. Positive. Are you with me? Uh, yeah. Okay. And when you have a negative one, positive two, it gives you a positive one. Um, and what's the answer to this? Positive fifty. Positive Good. fifty. Good job. What about this? Is there a positive one twenty? Good job. What about this? Minus twenty-two. Good job. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and no one told me. I've been writing on the screen from the beginning. And no one saw yeah. it. Oh, I apologize. This I apologize for that. I think it's the setting I did. I think I shared my slide. So it's, it wasn't showing what I was writing. I was supposed to share my entire screen. Sorry. OK. So uh, OK, let's, so let me quickly write down the rules that I gave earlier on. Let me quickly write down the rules. Because I wrote, I wrote it down. Oh, wow. It won't, it won't go. So I said the rules are when you have a negative and that's for addition and subtraction rules. I actually wrote all this on the screen. I thought you guys were seeing it and I was actually solving everything. So when you have the first rule is when you have a negative and a positive number or a positive and a negative number, what you do is what subtraction. Okay? And the answer will take, will take the sign of the big number of the bigger number. Okay? And number two, I said, when you have a negative and negative and a positive and positive, you do what? Addition. And it's all the answer will also take the same thing here. Then for multiplication, the first rule is when you have a negative times a positive, or a positive times a negative, it will give you a minus. And the second is when you have a negative times a negative or a positive times a positive, it will give you what? A positive. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah, please let's write, write, write that down, okay? I'm going to quickly... Okay. Have we written it down? Yes, I'll just take a screenshot. All right, I'm going to quickly go. solve this and you will do this stress as homework. Now, look at this. Okay. To solve this is not difficult. All you need to do is pick the numbers two at a time and solve. Now, you have, let me come here, you have, you have 16 positive in parentheses, negative 9, negative in parentheses, positive 10. How do you solve this? You pick these two, two numbers first. We'll resolve it. So here we have a, a 16 positive in parentheses, negative nine. We open this parentheses. We do positive times negative. It gives us what? A negative, right? A negative nine. And this is what 16. What is this? And you know 16, when you don't see a sign here, it's a positive. Positive. And what's the positive 16 minus 9? What's the positive 16 minus 9? What do you do? When you have a, ne a positive and negative, you subtract, right? Yeah. Are you guys with me? Yeah. 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 So you subtract, we have a 7. And what sign will 7 take? Positive? Yes, positive, be sure, positive. It will take positive because 16 is positive. positive. So you have positive seven, then you drop down what is left here. What is left here is negative in parentheses, positive 10. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll now resolve this, okay? So here, this is positive seven, negative in parentheses, positive 10. We do negative times positive to open up this parenthesis. So we have positive seven. What is negative times positive? That will give us negative, right? A minus, minus 10. And here now we have a positive seven, a negative 10. What do we do? What do we do? Yes, we subtract. So we subtract seven from 10. It gives us what, three. 
what sign would three take? Uh, positive. No, no, no. no. It, it uh, take, because 10 is, uh, is the biggest it, number. It's the bigger number. Okay? So it will take the sign of 10. So our final answer is a negative 3. Do you see that? Yeah. yeah. And you notice that when we punch in into our GED calculator, just give me a minute. One minute, let it open up. So when we punch into our GD calculator, let me clear all this. Okay, so clear. So we have 16. Can we see what I'm doing? Yeah. positive now this is a negative nine so you put in parentheses this is the negative you are gonna be going to punch not this negative okay can you see what i'm doing negative nine close the parentheses then for this negative here you punch this negative then in parentheses just a positive 10 you don't need to put the positive then we'll press enter do you see our answer? Negative yeah. three. Okay. So this is just to confirm this. And I also did this to show you how to use your GD calculator when you're working with negative numbers. You don't use this. You don't use this sign. You will see here that, hold on, you will, you will notice something. If I do this 16, I do plus. I do in parentheses, I come here, I use this negative nine, I close it, I use this negative, I open parentheses, I put 10, close it, I enter. Can you see syntax error? Yeah. Do you see that? So when you have a negative number on your GED calculator, you use this. Let me use my pen to write to point it out. You use this button. Do we all see this button? Yes, so have positive so what should we use? Come again? So if we have positive numbers, so what should we use? If you have a positive. Uh, if you have positive in the parentheses, you, you can use the normal positive, but you really don't need to put it. But okay. let's 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 do it together. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to use the positive. Positive, the parentheses. Negative, my close the parentheses. Minus the parentheses. Positive, then close the parentheses. Enter. It won't work, okay? So since this positive 10 means the number is positive, if you leave it as 10, it's also a positive. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? So the only difference is when it's a negative, that's when you have to now put this. All right? Uh, Are you with me? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do, uh, or do you guys want, should I do another one, number two? Yes, or please. Will, will you want to try it on your own? <laughs> I, should do, I should do number two with you right you can do it on the calculator so we can understand no 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 we are going to solve it together you need to learn by hand before your calculator okay yes. because yes. some of these questions might come out in the non-calculator section so you don't you won't have this the, to use you won't be able to use the calculator okay so here we have negative three plus 14 positive neg then a negative five in parentheses so we pick the first two numbers. So a negative three, positive 14. What do we do? Subtract. What do we do? We subtract, subtract. right? 
So we take away three from 14, it gives us 11. Mm -hmm. What sign would 11 take? Oh, plus. Good, positive. So we have positive, then let's drop down what is left. What is left here is positive in parentheses, negative five. So we need to open up this parenthesis. So positive times negative, what would I give you? Negative. Good, negative five. Then here, this is positive 11. So what is positive 11, negative five? Negative. We do subtraction, right? Yeah, so but it's, it's going to be positive. It gives us six. Then the sign of the bigger number is positive. positive. Do we see that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do we understand? Yes, I do. do. We... Okay. I'm going to give you homework now. Okay. The rest I'll post it on the groups right now. I hope we gained something today. Thank you so much, Isha. Yeah, but did you gain something today, please, everyone? Yes. Yes. Are, are we sure? Yes. Okay. I'm going to look at that. Okay, please uh, copy down the rules and, you know, just get more worksheets. I'm going to send you homework. So just use the, the rules to work on any questions, all right? So thank you everyone, and uh, see you in our next class, Class, okay? Yes. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah so welcome. the next class is gonna be on uh, next Thursday? Yes, 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 for the maths, yes. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? You can uh, invite your friends if you are from Yema, and uh, or Thailand, invite your friends to join the group. Okay. Okay, okay. sure. All right. All right. Take care. Don't forget the one more teacher. Come again. Don't forget the one more. Okay. Yes, I would. I will send them now on the group. All right. Okay. Okay. All take right. care, everyone. Have a good day. Okay. Good take care. Have a good day.